Jim Clark drives the Formula One Lotus Sport to victory on the racetracks of the world. Now he is dead, the flying Scot who won more Grand Prix than any other driver. But the memory of his cool skill lives on. Now this unique man and car partnership is preserved, not only on film, but like this. Away from the thrills and tragedies of the racetrack, in a garage in a Bournemouth garden, the Lotus Ford is recreated for posterity in miniature. This car was to be presented to Jim Clark to commemorate his victories. Henri Bajon continues to make the model, which is one twelfth the size of the real thing and exact in every detail. Every part is handmade. The cars that Bajon make don't actually work. Not that you'd really expect them to, except that he sells them for thousands of pounds. Some of his feats of mini-engineering cost more than the real car. Even the treads on the tires are cut by hand. The dangers of Grand Prix are a far cry from Mr. Bajon's model making, but just one look is enough to bring back the memory of a great, courageous champion. <laughs>